So we've got uh, 1,588. That's a solid number. Bounces I'm happy with that. on the stream right now. It's really cool. I'm happy with that. So we're going back to Cloud Kingdom again. This is a rematch. Uh, in case yes. you guys missed the first game, a Tubby with a huge misclick. And I thought right away, I was like, wow, what? A, uh, uh, why? And then he instantly leaves. And you know what? Tubby, like you said, very good manner to just leave yes. the game and not drag it on. And for that, hey. Kane rewarded him. With the with the ability to say, you know what? Re and it's not even the fact. If Kane was up like, you know, one nothing, I could see him really going, that's okay. The, that's to win the whole series. But it's 1-1 right now. Yeah, that's the, so that's the series. You know, I, I, I don't know if Tubby's going to be able to sleep at night if he wins this game I, I and wins know. the tournament. And how manner would it be if Tubby actually gave him... Some of the the prize, the prize if you won. won. The whole tournament? Oh man, there's a whole. Well, no pressure now, Tubby. No, no, no. There's no pressure now. No pressure, Canadian. No pressure. None. Mm. Okay, uh, Adam. Yes. Hit me up. Yes. With the saying of your favorite wrestler, anyone. Oh. Like oh. Just, just a, like a like a. I don't a know. DDP. DDP is really really nasty about about that. I don't. Uh, um. Uh, come on! Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'll just go with the with the the definitive Hulkster. Hulkster, give it up. All right. What you gonna do, brother, when the twenty four inch pythons run wild on you? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We probably just blew out the speakers of everybody's head, everybody's headsets. In the world, watching this right now, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. See, he doesn't mind so much, but if I were like, if I if I took like DDP's bang, he'd probably be really upset about that. He's pretty he's pretty tight tight about that stuff. Okay. He's pretty it's tight a, about it's that okay, stuff. It's okay, DDP. It's all right. It's I still okay. love I love that man. I love that man. Well, he he you you bought you bought his him. yeah you bought yes. his little anyway that's just a, that's a whole another tangent. We're yeah. we're in we're in Starcraft we're in here. Starcraft and world. Look at this. The drones uh, doing what the. Uh, what the probe usually does to oh wait no no no, Shit. no, no. okay never mind no. we're actually on yes they okay. switched I was thinking that it was still yes. the same no they oh, okay we're gotcha. in the reverse I was gonna say look at this drone pulling some good. some funky things okay that was fine yeah All right. don't don't listen to me okay forge fast expand for tubby same thing same same we're looking thing. we're looking awfully familiar right now yes uh, and we oh but we only have what two lings coming out instead of the four yes for Kane yep. Uh, actually, no, yeah, still two coming out, so it, he's not going to push up with these. How funny would it be if he did the same thing and another cancel was going off? That, okay. I would actually play if it. Yeah, that happened again, it would be just absolutely <laughs> troll. <laughs> 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 Wow, See, everybody this hates is, this us right now. This is funnier for the guys behind the scenes because they can actually just watch us on webcam being completely insane. Yeah. Uh, while everybody else just has to, in their imagination, wonder what the heck is possibly going on right now. <laughs> uh, and so they don't get nearly as much fun. The pylon is getting attacked here by uh, a brave drone and a couple of zerglings. Mm -hmm. Trying to get rid of that so he can go ahead and grab his third. Seems like he's going to eventually get rid of that right now. Tubby doing basically the same here. He's got... Data Simulator just finishing. Another one about to go down as well. Ooh, I really like what he's doing here. Look at this. So in the in the game where he was macroing, he got one assimilator and then decides to go for a fast third. Yep. This time around, he's, he's got the one assimilator, but he put it over another one at his natural. Yes. So when this overlord goes, hmm. I'm, oh, oh, one I'm guess. Just one guess. Hmm. Hmm. Is he possibly trying to do a, a fast hmm. third this game? Hmm. Oh, yes. Well, maybe Tubby is going to go, I'm going to all in him now. Or maybe he's going to do a four-gate pressure. We'll he see. Could, he could do a number of things, and Kane won't really be all the wiser unless he gets a, a wing run by or something to check that out. Yeah, or he moves this Overlord down, but he's only got a, a, a limited amount of time before a Stalker gets out, and he's no and longer going to have the vision back. over there. And look at this. Putting that pile in the corner, oh, that yeah. tells you he's going to be hiding tech. Hiding tech. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a Stargate. I don't know if it's going to be three more gateways. We're going to find out any second. Uh, it could also be a Robo. Oh, okay. Uh, so All we're right. going to go Twilight. Twilight Council. Hmm. So that could mean a couple of things. Yeah, he could be going into uh, what I've been seeing a lot of Protoss do actually is pushing DTs. up with four gates, right? He, he, he applies pressure, and then he warps in DTs and then goes blank from there. Yes. And goes, you know, a lot of stalkers. But maybe Tubby has something 
Different in mind. Different in mind. We'll We're going to find out. That can be a scary thing if done properly, if only because at the time of the attack, the Zerg isn't always prepared for having detection everywhere it needs to be. That's right. And and it's not meant to win a game, but it's meant to pick off a, a, like a base. Bird or something? Absolutely. Yeah. And you can definitely do that. Like, say if you, you warp in four units and you're attacking the third, he's going to rush everything over here, and then you run up here, say with three, four DT, this base is going to go down very quickly. Yeah. And the, the, the thing is with Zerg is they normally don't put up spore crawlers unless they feel as though you're going air. And, he's, and he only has vision on one gas, so he's going, well, he can't, he doesn't have enough gas to, to go Phoenix, so I don't need to get those spore crawlers. So I'm really liking this sort of metagame that, uh, and there's the Dark Shrine, I'm really liking this metagame that, uh, that Tubby's doing, and there's the three gates, so it is going to be a four gate push. And then I'm sure we're going to see Blank. Another thing with the Twilight as well, once you're done getting your plus one, you can instantly go into plus two exactly. attack right away. So you this is grab that. very, very solid from Tubby. And getting that attack early on is actually huge against Zerg. Uh, very, very good thing to swing, especially going in with an attack like that. No question about it. You know, you know Kane is just pretty much not, you know, he's none the wiser about anything. He's still going about his build like he would normally. He's not preparing for anything spectacular. You know, he's got a spine going down. He's got a roach worn and his speed is just going to be finished. But he's just going to be content with some roaches and whatnot. And that might not, that's not necessarily what he needs if Tubby is going to go ahead with this pressure, which it looks like he's got oh, three, forward, three forward pylons now yeah. uh, across. I believe an overlord spotted the second one on its way. He is going to know that it's coming. Uh, however, Tubby is looking to get uh, awfully aggressive here soon. Yeah, uh, now he's putting down spore crawlers. He knows something's up. Yeah. He's going, what is happening? And there's the DT. The spore crawler is about to finish there, so he's going to have to run into the natural. This spore crawler is going to finish as well. Is there any overseers in production? Does he even have a layer? No, he doesn't have a layer yet. No detection but the spore Oh, crawlers. no. If, if, if this attack was like 15 seconds earlier and he killed that spore crawler, it would have been game over. But no, the sport caller is coming out at the last second. Great game sense from Kane. Although he had no idea what was happening, he's got to think in his mind, what is he doing? How can I lose right now? And that's why he put down those four callers. Beautiful play from Kane. That could have been GG right there. No no question about it. Yeah, I was going to say that there wasn't any layer that had actually happened. You can see that it's in production right now. It's just about to finish. But that's what I was talking about. That's the most crippling thing about the DTs is that even with the layer, sometimes the Zerg just isn't prepared with overseers in order to move around and have the mobility to deal with those DTs. But without that, it's pretty much a, a game of spore crawlers. And as you said, 15 seconds, and that would have been the show. Uh, the DTs probably could have just made it in, finished the spore crawlers off without anything, and Absolutely. just gone to town and yeah. finished the game. Kane now up in production now. He does have a food count lead. Again, I don't know what the uh, what are we looking for in terms of workers. It looks like Tubby is oh, putting down yeah. his uh, his third now. Tubby's he been is, doing a really good job at building he's, probes. He's 64. Got probes he's ready for the transfer, no doubt about that. But look at this army. That's a 136 with, supply with that to 85. In mind, it is a 50 supply lead plus. And, and you know why? It's because Tubby was putting all of his cards into, into these DTs, yep. right? He, he needed to do damage. He doesn't need to win with them. But he just needs to deal damage, kill some drones, maybe get a hatchery, do something. But he really could do nothing. It needs, look at this. Beautiful. Holding position around those DTs. Overseers come, pick those off. And now Tubby is in a world of trouble. I don't even think he has a mothership core out. No, I, I, don't, I haven't seen it. If oh, it yes, is, he does. It okay. so ju just came out not too long ago. just happened. So he doesn't have the energy for an overcharge or anything yet. No, this base. And so this is going to this this is is gonna gonna be, be awfully hard to hold. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, well, the wall is up, thankfully. The Zerglings, though, in and around there are going to get slowed down a bit. Uh, but there's a lot of Zerglings and get rid of all of those stalkers. That's pretty much. I can't see. I can't see I Tubby know. coming back from this. There's 76 supply. No. And 70 of them are probes. This yeah. is game over. Yeah. And I'm sure Tubby will probably GG uh, sooner than later, uh, considering this is you know a rematch. Um, I, I I I don't know. No. no. Once again, if Tubby pulls this out of his ass. Everybody needs to donate everything they got and their firstborn child yes. to the charity. Which we've already established as 150. Yep. So if you only have 140 in your bank account, you can therefore donate your first child and give that extra $10. Yeah. It's, it's exactly what I was thinking. Unfortunately, we can't just give you one of the headsets. You would think that a fair trade would be your first child for a Sennheiser headset. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You're just going to have to hope that you get drawn like everybody else. Roaches are now in the natural. The Lings are just destroying everything. Uh, Tubby is just getting overran here. And once again, beautiful play by Kane. Just having this like sixth sense that something is coming. And 